Hey guys, Thunderset here and we're running more Kawaki Miru. This is another version I used even when it was limited and it revolves around the new card Tenki which is able to search Urn Knight which is definitely a core of Kawaki Miru. Now the core is definitely the same as the last deck. We have three diamond and three iron which is the new freedom from the unlimited. Then we have Urn Knight which is pretty much core to of course, Maximus is core, so I mean, that's already 10 cards. That's half your deck. And I would say one wall, one Sandman, just to know when to bring them out. So that's about 12 cards. Then you need more. I'd say Ice is core, so 13 core archetype cards. Now, I've switched up here. I've gone with Crusader. Usually don't go with Crusader. But Crusader and Urn Knight will be an OTK with Tenki, so it works out pretty well. We are also using a different tech alongside Tanky. We're using Solemn Scolding. I'm sure you guys know how strong this card is all on its own. And we're using it to abuse Destiny Draw as it's the only really OP skill Konami hasn't destroyed yet. So we're going to use it till they destroy it. Uh, I didn't think I'd like this version as much, but I really did. Uh, I, I loved the Kawaki Miro meta, honestly, even when they were tier 1, arguably tier 0. I loved it, because they were just an aggressive archetype. They were all about pumping out monsters. They didn't set a lot of traps, so I'm all for a meta like that. I don't think they're going to be meta-defining here again, but I love that they're back. They're definitely cog-worthy, no problem. Still super fun. Whole new world with XCs. That's why searching Earth Knight is actually a pretty good way to focus. I was pleased with the deck. Hope you guys are too, and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing a Seto Kaiba. We're going. Oh, Lord, he's on an 11 win streak. <laughs> Looking to rank up. So this guy was trying to scream through platinum. I think this was to get out of platinum too. So he was trying to scream through Platinum real quick, and he was using Trimids to do it. I love Trimids. Very strong deck, and we're about to give him a clapping and stop a very long win streak. So we're going to start with the Tanki to search. We're going to start with the Diamond Core to search. Tons and tons of searching to be done. We use our Diamond Core to protect our boys. Here's an Urn Knight. We're going to bring out Sandman. Now he can't use whatever that trap's going to be, but we're going to follow through with an immediate XCs. We have our Malevolent Sin. We're going to banish the boy. He hits us with a Fiendish Chain. That's okay. Because we can set our Solemn Scolding. We can bring out our Maximus. Destroy the Fiendish Chain. Now he's going to use his Master. Get rid of King Golem. Bring out a Cruiser. He's going to Special Summon Sphinx. Believe it or not. But we can crash right into Sphinx. 3k on 3k. We're not destroyed because of our diamond core, so we destroyed the Sphinx for free. Then Malevolent Sin destroys the Master. He's down to one card. We get another diamond core. We're going to use it to search another Urn Knight. We're going to be able to use Maximus to... Or no, so we use the core first. He's going to try to trigger Trimid Pulse to it. But guess what? Did you guys forget? We had this Solemn Scolding waiting. How unfair is that? He was waiting for the diamond core to chain to it so he could destroy us. And he gets met with a Solemn Scolding. Even if that would have worked, he was still done for. So, uh, not much he could do except take that L. Good win streak, though, my boy. 11 win streak. That's pretty good. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Zane Truesdale. We're going first. Boy's using a pretty classy Sleeve and Matt combo over there with the pure white. Kind of digging it. Here we have our Tenki. Search an Urn Knight. We have our Diamond Core. We already have an Iron Core. So we just bring out the Urn Knight. Saving the Diamond Core. We bring out the Crusader. We go immediately into an Xyz of a Utopia. And I think Utopia is a pretty good play against our boy Cyber Dragons. We also have a Solemn Scolding, so he's going to have a tough time doing anything. He's going to Machine Dupe Natchester, but Natchester counts as a Cyber Dragon, so he's able to bring out a Cyber Dragon with that card. Actually, pretty crazy combo. Goes with a fusion of two cards, one from his hand, one from the field. He's going Rampage Dragon. He's going to want to hit the back row, but he's going to be met with the Solemn Scolding. That means we stop his Rampage Dragon in his tracks, and we get a Destiny Draw next turn. He ends his turn. We get that Destiny Draw. We draw another Diamond Core. Look at how ballin' we are. 
just all our cores. We search an Urnite. Now we're gonna search our Maximus. We're gonna be able to use a Diamond Core from the Graveyard. Bring out the Urnite. That's gonna be a free XCs. We could even pop that boy if we wanted with this ice, but we don't want to. We want to just make a Malevolent Sin. And then we'll leave the popping for the Maximus. You know, he pops his that Cyber Dragon, hit him for 3k, and then we'll let the Malevolent Sin finish it off. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing Super Heavy Samurai. We're going first, catching a little rank up. No Super Map for our boy over there. He's using 21 cards. I think one's added from his skill. We got two Solemn Scolding and two Iron Cores, so we gotta really wait to use the Solemn Scolding, which is super easy against Super Heavy Samurai. All you gotta do is wait for the proper Synchro, and they usually don't have means to stop you preemptively from the back row, just mostly Flutus himself to stop you from targeting. But we don't need to target, so uh, we got Musashi coming out. We got Musashi heading back right to the graveyard with Solemn Scolding and we get a destiny draw to make sure we have the sickest turn we're able to have. Usually destiny draw is pretty much always gonna just be a diamond core even if you have a diamond core. So we got that Urn Knight coming. He's gonna bust out our Sandman. Now we're not quite lethal. I, I try to go into because I wasn't quite sure if our Utopia Ray needed a monster out because we meet every requirement of his skill except a monster. It says discard a card, gain a thousand if you do, a monster loses, but it won't let you use the effect to get up to 4k. So we're just with us, uh, Utopia Ray. We're better off with just a, uh, Utopia, honestly. Here he's trying to keep going. He makes a, uh, can I say this monster's name? Shuto Shatindoji. I just got his horns though, even if he just had one more fortress or a soul shield wall, he would have been over us easy, but he kamikazes. All we need is any of our monsters, and we get a good one. We get the good old Urn Knight, bring out wall, diamond Corum, so we get two swings, and we're gonna need him because he has a kite right, are you kidding? There's not really any one card he's gonna be able to top deck to stop us. You need that Drowning Mirror Force, I would just have to fall head first in, but he top decks and scoops. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing another Yami Yugi. We're going second. His name's Even Yugi. Now he's got a Dark Magician sleeve and mat, and that is the Yugi Dark Magician, so this guy's all in. And then boom, he's using Red Eyes Fusion. Look at him go. Red Eyes Fusion, he's using Park Gaia, though, so that's pretty cool. He's gonna use Black Pendant. Not the best equipped card, but you know equipped cards, how they work with Slash Dragon and all that stuff. And we have a Tanky and two Diamond Core. We already have an Earn Knight too, so we're really just gonna pop off. We get two Diamond Core Maximus. We get to Diamond Core and Iron Core. This is about as good as the turn gets for us. We're going to use one of the Diamond Cores from the graveyard. Start with Ice. Ice can throw away an Urn. Target the Slash Dragon. He can negate us, but he can't destroy us because of the Diamond Core. So we're going to be able to use Ice yet again. Throw away both Urn Knights. Now here comes Maximus. Pop in the back row. That was a Red Eye Spirit. So he will, in fact, survive this turn, but we did use the Diamond Core. So uh, not much he can do. And I even give him the Destiny draw. I say, here you go, you mad lad. Show me a two card combo that's going to wreck this deck. Let's see it. And he just opts for another Red Eyes Fusion, but look at what he does. He goes with a Meteor Dragon. He thinks he'll just get over me that way. I mean, a Slash Dragon could have got over me. I'm pretty sure. But uh, we still would have dunked on him all the same. We're going with Sandman with the Core. Use another Core's Effect. Didn't really need to use that Core's Effect. We even could have just used Ice to throw that away and pop him. But we'll go with a good old-fashioned Malevolent Sin Banish. And he's just gonna bounce himself. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Zane Truesdale. We're going second. Let's see what this boy's got for us. He's using Blue Eyes Sleeve and Matt there. We got Sandman. We got... I don't even know that beast name. Crusader? 
Beast Warrior, yeah, Crusader. And we got a Solemn, we got an Iron Core, he's got a Notchester and a Cyber Dragon, two back row. We get a Diamond Core, fantastic top deck. Search our boy Maximus, we're going hard, guys. We're going hard, we're gonna Diamond Core. Sandman, Maximus, he triggers Cybernetic Overflow, tries to target us. We already used Diamond Core, there was nothing he could do, I'd make a misplay. And I set my salt, or I guess we couldn't have done anything since we popped a different monster. But we, no hands, no nothing, nothing to worry about. Nice, quick, lethal. He blew his overflow trying to destroy us when you couldn't with the core. Quacky Miro, guys, I love it. It's so much fun. They're way more than good enough to cog. There's many ways to play them. You can play them with all the limited cards now. It's great. XCs have done nothing but add value to the deck. It's it's great archetype. We just need Maximus for you. Just give us Maximus free. We could go to Melody. That'd be great. How, like, how do you even make room with Maximus? We cut a Solemn, cut a Tanky, obviously, and then two more Maximus right there. Be awesome, guys. Awesome, awesome. Until then, I'll probably eventually even go back to Kawaki Mirror. No time soon, but maybe uh, keep looking and something awesome will come across. We'll have to see. Till then, we gotta finish Mech Lords and stuff. Let me know what you guys think of the archetype, and thanks for watching.